Well, apart from warding of poisonous animals, people around the capital are also hosting other activities to celebrate the Dragon Boat Festival. And here is a roundup of some of the highlights. The Dragon Boat Festival provides the perfect opportunity for poets to meet and recite poems to one another, honoring poet Chi Yuan. Some also play music from the state of Chu, where he lived. These artists are passing the beauty of ancient Chinese culture on to us and creating a kind of contemporary culture for our own era. Works of painters and calligraphers round off these celebrations in the park. Beijing's Garden Expo also gets into the festive spirit, a carnival featuring figures from ancient China, including the legend of the white snake, take to the streets along with artists from Africa showcasing their drumming skills, and dancers from Europe. An impressive fountain display steals the show, however, Soaring 108 meters into the sky, the fountain is the largest of its kind in China. Beijing's Stone Carvings Art Museum at the Five Pagoda Temple draws holiday makers with a Dragon Boat Culture Festival. Visitors discover how characters are carved in stone and appreciate some of the relics collected by the museum. And at Beijing's Solana, a beer festival delights guests. Here, thirsty pounders taste various brands of beer from around the world. You can actually get some peace and quiet here. You feel as though you have escaped the city. It's also suitable for youngsters to party here, both after work or during the holidays. The Dragon Boat Festival is a newly designated holiday in China. And as Beijing heats up for the summer ahead, the best of the city's activities are on display. Song Yaotian, CCTV.